Okay, today I want to talk about the investment, uh, the inflation adjusted return. Why the inflation adjusted return? Let's just say your investment, uh, this is like uh, you, if you invest your inv investment uh, return, one plus your investment return, then one plus uh, inflation rate, then minus, uh, minus one. So why is this? Okay, I want to, I want to uh, show you how, let's just say, uh, this is for one year. Uh, let's just say I put a $100 in an investment, let's just say buy a stock. So then my stock go up. So at the end of the year, so I become, uh, the stock price is become 110. So what's my return? My return is 10%. But however, at the beginning of the 100, you know, $100, I buy the food. Um, so I found it out at the end of the year, the same food. So I have to pay $102 on it. So that's, that's inflation. So what's the inflation rate? It's 2%. So your money, um, you know, you, you, you know, if you can see, your money can buy buy less, so its return is not really ten percent. Then what is the return? So your inflation adjusted return is zero, one hundred ten minus one hundred two, then divided by two. This equals to. Let's give you clear. Give you this is eight. Eight divided by one zero two equal to seven point eight percent. Seven point eight percent. So this seven point eight percent it should be your inflation adjusted return. But why why this one why this one is um you know we can uh we can confirm that um before i derive that how why this formula makes sense but uh we can just uh, confirm the you know the it's it's this function make sense say okay if i don't go through this step i just simply say okay my investment return is 10 percent my inflation rate is two percent then i minus one is this equal to uh this Right, um, that's it, clear. One point, uh, no, uh, sorry. 1.1, 1 .1, then divided by 1.02 equal to this, then minus one. You can see it is exactly equal to 7.8%. Okay, uh, I'm gonna describe that, how how this one to make sense that. Okay, so this function, what is it 110? 110 is 100 times 10% return minus 100 times, um, times 2% return, right? Then you have 100, times it 102 percent return so we can uh cancel all the hundred so we can separate this is equal to one plus ten percent then one plus two percent then minus uh one plus two percent one plus two percent what's this this is equal to one this is equal to one hope you can see it so this is exactly 100 Ten percent, hundred two percent, minus one. So this, that's why that function is this is inflation adjusted return.